Hey guys, it's your girl Lady Vasori in the building and I am here today showing you a client work of sorts to get you guys, you know, app acclimated with doing some of your own spell work. So today I am setting up a client work for a client and this client is wanting cutting energy or soul ties from two targets, okay? Not to get into any of that because that's personal to my client, but what I'm doing now is setting up the work and I'm gonna show you guys mostly what I put in this work. This is a um, sort of like a mini ritual for the client. Um, so I'm gonna use a seven day candle with sigils. I have black pillars because it represents the banishing removal of this said target, okay? It's not one that is so much as a hex. It's more as a removal of an energy, cutting the ties that bind that type of energy, guys. Okay, so I'm not going to too much put to um, anything heavy, super, super heavy like hexing and all of that. We're going to keep it simple because we want to cut it in a peaceful way. This here is a sigil. If you guys can see, the name is on here. I'm not going to show you the full candle. But this is a seven-day black candle that I'm using in this work as well. The target's name is on the candle. But that sigil is banishing. I also have the two pillars. And right now, I'm going to um, set up for the ritual. I'm just going to show you guys. Let me grab my spoon. And a couple of my clients have reached out to me about um, removing energies and cutting ties without a lot of unnecessary energy to it. Just, you know, peaceful. And that's what we're doing today. I want my client to be just get what she wants as well as remove the things that she does not need. And we're working on that today. But I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing holiday, child. I know I did. I know I did. Y'all, the best way that I've learned when you have candelabras, let me place this correctly, is when you add foil. Oh, that's why. When you add foil to it, it's sort of like, creates a barrier from your herbs and the drippings, you know what I'm saying? So try to focus on fire safety as well. Whenever you're doing any type of works, be careful. If not, get somebody who knows what they're doing, like myself, to do it for you. It's linked, that's my plug. It's linked in the bio. Y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have this up and ready, we're going to start to layer the herbs. And this one here, I'm going to add in witch's grass. And witch's grass is good for removal, okay? It's great for removal, banishing. And within my rituals, I make sure I layer real heavy with the first as I am thinking about the intent. But for the sake of this video, because I'm talking, I will put the intention inside of the work when I get ready to light for the client. So we're just setting it up for you guys right now. So again, this is Witch's Grass. Now, if you need a smaller ritual, then do that, but use these ingredients. You can also use these same ingredients on spell jars or... Um, In ritual work, you can use it in candles, dressing candles. So make it like you want whatever your specialty is that you love to do. All right. Again, this is witch's grass. We're done. Great for removals. Um, it is also great for depression as well. And drawing in a lover too, y'all. Next, we're adding in some agrimony. And agrimony is great for banishing, breaking hexes, protection, and if you need some sleep. So we're going to add 
some agrimony into this work as well. And again, this is a mini ritual. Usually with my larger rituals, it is way more candles, way more um, energy, way more flames. So that's how that works. This is also dog grass. I got to order some more of this as well. This is for um, um, enemy spells. Because we are separating her from the... Um, Target, it's a long story, but this is her, actually an enemy, but she wants a peaceful split. That makes sense. So we're going to add some of that to the work. We're going to add some of this red chilies. They're dry. Baby, they're good. It's good for banishing and negativity, unhexing hexen work and dark magic so i'm actually going to use it for the intention of banishing all right we're going to finish this off season all baby season all. i want my client to feel like baby she is gone target is gone bye okay y'all so also in this work i'm going to add in some black salt Black salt is great, great, great for protection. Um, it's great for protection as well as banishing, guys. So black salt. I do make and sell this in my shop. This is black salt. Keep black salt with you, for real. Throw it at the door. Like, you got a, um, a neighbor that is just, you can't stand like me. Throw some at the door. If you, if it gets that bad. So, we're going to banish this, this target. We're going to banish them out of our lives, out of my target's life, out of the client's life. We're going to remove them right now. Sharp and fast. Okay. I'm going to also, also add some hot foot powder, baby. A hot foot powder make a move. You want a, mo a motherfucker to move, add in some hot foot powder. Yeah. Hot foot powder. And I always circle my candle. Don't know why. You don't have to do that, but that's what I do most of the time. I'm going to add a triangle or a circle with the powder okay and that's in retrospect of circling her name we want her energy to be gone out of here bye bitch like that i know y'all laughing but i'm in it all right we're gonna add a um some breakup powder as well get one i already got one open y'all where are you i'm gonna add in breakup powder and that's this i put all of my y'all look at these little cute things i put all of my powders in here and we're gonna take a little spoon of breakup powder and we're gonna add it to this work as well and the breakup is just the release of everything we want it to move. We want it to go. We want it to flee. By cut all energy. Okay. I'm also going to add some peace incense. Some peace powder. Um, And y'all know that what I said earlier. We want it to be a peaceful split. This is my peace powder. And I'm going to add a little bit of that. I don't want to add too much or too little because if she act wrong, it's going to be a whole different story. Also, you can add gopher's dust. Um, gopher's dust is great as well to move things along um, if you choose to. Add all things that resonate with you within whatever the intention you're moving for, you're going for. Do what you need to, all right? Especially in core cutting. If it's an energy that needs to go completely, 
they add in the intentions you need. You know what I'm saying? If it turns into that, it is what it is. You cut energy that no longer serves you. Cut that quick and fast. Ain't no questions. All right, let me show you guys the... I'm also going to add a lemon to this work. Okay? And the lemon represents um, a cleansing, purification, banishing, removal. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever see me dress the lemons on my live for the lemon ritual, it is that sort of effect. I'm going to add um, some of the herbs and the um, salts into the lemon like I did placed in this ritual with the name paper of the person that needs to be gone. Make sense? Let me also give you a look of, now I'm going to cover up the photo and I'm going to show you guys a replica of a name petition or crossing. Let me cover up her photo. Okay. If you look at it, I drew a sigil and let's see. I wrote the clients. You're going to write the words that you want. Fight, buy, stop, leave, separate, divorce. And then I created the sigil. You write the person's name down in a cross, not lifting the pen. Outwards means banishing, removal. Inwards means coming to you. Make sense? So that's how you write one. All right. Hopefully you understand that. I'll lay this here. Now, let me grab the lemon. All right. The lemon that I'm placing inside of this work as well. I usually place it in front or behind um, my candle, whatever is best for you. So now with the name petition, the petitions for from my client, her words, I add to the work and I also place oils as well i'm going to use my banishing oil this is my own exclusive oil you can get this available in the shop i always do most of the time five drops two that's one in each corner and one in the middle as i say what i need to say intention is everything y'all I fold away and I place everything in one and I always take my petition and if I'm doing a seven day candle, I place it up under the work while I'm doing, if I'm doing client work, that's what I do for yourself. You can um, burn any kind of candles you want. You don't have to have it like this because this is paid work. You can have it as easy as a pillar with a spell jar and I usually take, um, let's see, I have one down here. Little mason jars and create me a spell jar within the work, all right? Hexen, you're gonna use ammonia, um, love, vinegar. But you guys, do not place a candle on any type of ammonia jars or um, vinegar jars. That Don't do that. Never place a candle on those, okay? But back to this, you can size it down to what you need it to be, all right? Again, this is paid client works. I always, most of the time, will do a lemon for rituals such as this, cutting, um, return to sender, uncrossing works. Usually, I have a lemon with the intentions inside, okay? A name petition. Now, I'm going to add... My liquid, my liquid babies or my liquid conjure. Again, intent. I'm going to add some of my banishing oil to the herbs as well. And I always do it in the circle. I don't know why. I add some of my lemon because her petition is in there and I want her to leave. Okay. She got to go. Leave. And what I'll do next, I'm going to add a couple of um, tea lights to this work. 
and I'm going to probably add about four to six. Four to six, whatever resonates with you, then do, do as you will, y'all. So, I'm going to add one right here. And I have these tea lights right here. They're like a dark color. For this, just if you have white, just use white, y'all. Just use white. Use what you have, but place the energy inside of the work. I think I'm going to do four on this one. Okay? You don't want it too heavy. So I'm going to do four. And voila, y'all, this is a cutting energy. What I'm going to do after the, when I close off this work, this is just to show you guys what I do. But I will then um, place a little bit more juju into this work for the client. I'll call on it. I'll speak to the flame. I'll sit with it for at least, I don't know, what whatever. I don't know. I usually flow at least 15 minutes or longer within work. And that's how... You drain your energy, but that is the energy of doing works for yourself. You got to have that mindset. You got to know, you know, you got to just know it's going to come to pass. This is going to work out for my client. This is what her desires are. She shall have it. This is the knowledge that you guys have to understand when you're doing your own works or when you hire someone to do works for you. Okay. So, Glad you watched, y'all. I hope this helped you. This is just a small little mini ritual. If you would like to um, look at any of my client works, guys, it is visionsbiblestories.com. You already know. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.